Welcome to our yoga class. Let's start by lying down on the back. So you make sure that you lie in a comfortable pose. That means that you have some distance between your legs. Arms are along the sides and let the palms turn upwards. And you can close your eyes. We're going to lie still for a little while here and you can start by feeling the whole body. The whole body lying here absolutely still and in this way you just let your body calm down without making any movements at all, not with your toes, not with your fingers. The whole body lying here, absolutely still. And now when you lie like this, then at the same time, become aware of your breath. How your body is breathing in a natural way. You don't need to change your breath. You don't need to suddenly start breathing deeply or faster. Just normal, natural breathing process. And at the same time, notice how your stomach moves when you breathe. Each time you inhale, you can feel how your stomach is expanding. Each time you exhale, you feel how the stomach is moving inwards towards the body. Just notice the small movement at the stomach. You still breathe in a natural way, but soon I will ask you to take a real deep inhalation. And you do it so that you first Expand your abdomen, your stomach, your chest, all the way up to your throat. And then you hold the breath for a little while. So let's do it now. So now slowly inhale. Feel how your stomach is, is expanding, your chest all the way up. And now hold the breath. Hold the breath here. And now on an exhalation, just let go. And when you feel that your body wants to inhale again, you do it in the same way. You first fill your stomach, then your chest all the way up. Complete inhalation. Hold the breath again, three, four, five seconds. And let go again. And when body wants to inhale, you do it again. Real deep inhalation. Hold the breath for a little while. So when you now feel you want to exhale, then you do that. You just let go on an exhalation. And do like this a few more times. Real deep inhalation, you hold the breath for some seconds. And when you want to exhale, you do that, you let go. Go 
go on. So each time when you have exhaled, then you don't start to take a new inhalation right away. Just wait for some seconds. Usually your body doesn't need to inhale right away. There is a small break there for some seconds. So when you feel that now your body wants to inhale, it is then you start with a new deep inhalation. Now you can do it once more, one more deep inhalation and if you feel like holding the breath maybe a little bit longer, some few more extra seconds then you do that. Um, now exhale again. Let your body breathe naturally again. Just lie still, feel how it feels in the body right now. And now you are welcome to open your eyes, look around a little bit and you can just stretch your body a little bit before we start. If you want to stretch your arms over your head, you do that, stretch your body, your back, your arms, your legs, your feet. The first pose we're going to do is on the back like this. So now you keep your legs together, straight legs. You interlock your fingers under your head. Elbows are pointing out to the sides. Place your right foot on the left knee. And now you swing your right leg towards the left side. So when you've done that, then your right elbow is still down on the floor and then come back again so that the knee is pointing up and go on like this. So you just swing your leg to the left and then come back. And now you can straighten your leg again. We do it to the other side. So place your left foot on the right knee. Now you twist your hips, your legs all the way to the right and then come back again. So back and forth. Okay, so straighten your leg and let your arms rest along the sides again. Now you bend your legs, you place your hands on the knees and you pull your knees close to the body. And now you rock with your legs like this back and forth so that you lift up your lower back. Oh, 
okay, straighten your legs again. Sit up on your lower legs, on your heels. Now you can place your fingers on your shoulders. Move your elbows together front of the chest so that they meet. You lift your elbows up all the way up above the head and then backwards and down again and let your elbows meet. So just go on with the shoulder rolling. Do it the other way around. Place your hands on the knees. And now turn your head all the way to one side like you would like to see something behind you. And stay there for a little while. To the other side. Go on like this from side to side. You stay at each position for some seconds and then to the other side. Let your head hang forward towards the chest. Let it hang on its own weight. And now lift your head and let it hang backwards. If you want to, you open your mouth slightly so that you can relax the jaws. Stay there some seconds and go on. If you don't really know how long you should stay at each posi position, so you can mentally count one, two, three, and then to the other side. Next time your head is hanging forward, then stay there. Slowly lift your head and just sit with closed eyes.
You can sit more on the back part of the mat. You would need some space, more space in front of you. We're going to do now three poses, but it's actually one exercise, which includes three poses. Now on an inhalation, lift up your arms over your head. On an exhalation, bend forward until your forehead is resting down on the mat. And you have shoulder width between the hands, forearms and elbows. You rest in a hair pose now. Without lifting up your forehead from the floor, you slowly start to roll your head from your forehead all the way to the back of the head, top part of the back of the head, until you feel a slight stretch in your neck. This pose is called the neck stretch. And come back into the hair pose in the same way. Stand on all fours on your hands and knees and now come into the cobra pose. So you let your hips hang forward. You look up. Come back into the hair pose. Come into the next stretch pose again. And hair pose, stand on all fours, come into the cobra pose, you look up and back to the hair pose again. And now we take the breath along on an inhalation, you come into the next stretch, exhale, hair pose, inhalation, cobra. You look up, exhale, hair pose, inhale, neck stretch, exhale. And now on the next inhalation, you slide close to the floor. It's more difficult, but if you want to challenge yourself, you can do it in this way next time. And if you want to, you can slide back again in the same way. Yeah, that's okay, yeah and go on like this so hair neck stretch and the cobra pose three poses in one exercise You can do one more round, all three poses, the hair, neck stretch and cobra. So now when you go from the cobra pose back into the hair pose, then just stay there and breathe freely. On an inhalation, sit up, lift up your arms over your head. And exhale, place your hands on the knees and you can sit with closed eyes. Soon you're going to stand up. So before you do that, just stretch your legs a little bit. We are going to do some standing poses, so stand up. Cross your wrists front of the body and keep your fingers straight. 
Lift your arms all the way up, up above the head. And see if you can stretch your arms slightly backwards here, exactly. And now you start to separate your arms so that they're pointing diagonally up. And you look forward. Here you try to stretch your arms even more backwards so that you open up the chest. Stay like this. And then slowly cross your wrist above the head and bring your arms down again in the same way and relax your arms. We take the breath along so now you cross your wrists again. Straight fingers. Now on a deep inhalation lift your arms all the way up and exhale come into the pose you hold the breath here you look forward now inhale cross your wrist above your head and exhale bring your arms down relax your arms We do it once more, so you cross your wrists again. Inhale deeply, you lift your arms. And exhale, come into the pose. Arms are pointing diagonally up, you hold the breath. And when you can't hold the breath any longer, then on an inhalation you cross your wrist again above the head and then exhale. Relax your arms. Have bigger distance between your legs. First make sure that you have some space around you. If you stretch your arms out just if you turn your body and make sure you're not hitting something if you do it at home. So now relax your arms completely and slowly start to twist your upper body from side to side. And when you do that, you relax your arms completely, you turn your head, you look as far back as you can and if you do it a little bit faster you feel how your arms are coming higher and higher up and how they are hitting the body so make sure that you bend your arm behind you so that the hand is maybe coming around the waist on the other side you relax your arms and you go on When you swing your arms like this, then feel your back and your whole spine. It's very good exercise for the back. You can try to do it a little bit faster. Eyes are open so that you can keep the balance. And now slow down, do it slower and slower. And when you stand still, then close your eyes. Now you have your uh, legs, uh, your feet closer to each other. Interlock your fingers behind your back so that your palms are pointing still up, not down towards the floor. Bend forward with the upper body. Just let the upper body hang, let the head hang. And now lift your arms up as high up as you can. So maybe some of you can even let your arms hang over your head. Otherwise, you lift your arms as high up as possible for you. 
just stay there for a little while. Now bring your arms back again, let the hands rest on the back. On an inhalation, come up and exhale, let go of your hands. We take the breath along, so inhale, interlock your fingers behind the back, exhale, bend forward. Inhale, lift your arms as high up as you can and here you hold the breath. Hold the breath. Exhale, relax your arms. Inhale, come up and exhale again. Let go of your hands. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, come into the pose and now you hold the breath as long as you can. So if you can't hold the breath any longer, bring your arms down on an exhalation, then you inhale and relax your arms. Inhale, exhale, inhale, hold the breath. So when you want to come out of the pose, you exhale. On an inhalation, you come up and exhale again okay so now you can lie down on the back just lie still for a little while and feel the body Keep your legs together, straight legs. Place your right foot on the left knee. Left hand on the right knee. You turn your body all the way to the left until your knee is down on the mat. Place your right hand on the left hand. Lift your right arm up and then let it point diagonally up to the right side. So you look towards the right hand in this pose, which is called the universal pose. It is more important to come down with the knee. If the arm is still hanging up in the air, just let it hang. But slowly you will notice that your body will relax more and more, your back will relax and how your arm is pointing or coming closer and closer towards the floor. And make sure that your arm is really diagonally up, so not all the way up to the, out to the sides, but diagonally up. Just to rest in the pose. In this pose it's very normal if you feel that it stretches maybe here and there in the back. Maybe you can even feel it in your right shoulder or the upper arm. So if it's so that it stretches a lot right now, 
then just mentally go in that area just feel this area from within where it feels most at the moment just feel this area and feel how with each exhalation your body lets go slowly more and more so that you can rest in the pose. You can now slowly come out of the pose. Lie still for a moment. We do it to the other side, so keep your legs together. Place your left foot on the right knee your right hand on the left knee you turn your whole body to the right side until your knee is down place your left hand on the right hand and now you lift your left arm and let it point diagonally up to the left side So you look towards the left hand and when you have come into the pose then close your eyes when you do it to the other side it might feel different it's maybe easier it's maybe more difficult if you feel that it's stretching again somewhere in the back or at the shoulder then just mentally experience this area just feel it from within where it feels most right now and if you want to you can take the breath along so with each exhalation feel how your body lets go more and more rest in the pose slowly come out of the pose straighten your leg and arms are resting along the sides again and lie still 
Feel the body. Keep your legs together. And now you lift up your arms all the way up towards the floor. Sit up in this way so that your arms are pointing up and you straighten your back here. And now slowly bend forward towards your feet. Come as close as possible. You place your hands either on your feet or on your lower legs. And now you can lie down on the back again and you let your hands slide along the sides. We take the breath along, so now on an inhalation you lift up your arms up above the head. You hold the breath and now you sit up, straighten yourself. Exhale, bend forward, hold the breath, lie down, let the hands slide. Inhale again, hold the breath, sit up. Exhale, hold the breath, lie down and a few more times. So each time you sit up, you straighten yourself and then exhale, bend forward. Do it one more time and next time you bend the upper body forward, then you stay in the pose. If you can, you take hold of your toes, your big toes with your index finger and with your long finger. You place them between the big toe and the second toe. And now you just let your whole upper body and your head hang forward in this way. Back stretch pose. So if you can't reach your toes, then you can also rest your hands on the lower legs, but otherwise you take hold of your toes. So in this pose, like with the universal pose, it can be so that you feel that it stretches a lot, maybe behind your thighs or your back, your neck, your shoulder blades. So always just mentally go there, feel this place, this area where it feels most at the moment. And even here you can take the natural breath along, so with each exhalation feel how your body lets go more and more. And here you might feel how you slowly coming more and more forward with the upper body. So you should never try to pull yourself forward or push yourself just let your upper body hang in this way on its own weight
Let go of your toes, you slowly sit up, let the hands rest on your knees or thighs and sit with closed eyes. Lie down on your stomach for the last exercise. You have some distance between your legs. Let your left cheek rest down on the mat. Interlock your fingers and then you place your hands on your head so that your right palm is resting on the right ear. Elbows are pointing out to the sides. This pose is called the best pose. So here you rest like this for some time. Turn your head to the other side. You interlock the fingers again and rest your hands on the head so that the um, left palm is resting on the left ear.
You can come out of the pose. So this was the yoga program for today. Om Tat Sat.